There are many words that can describe Kenneth Harris, but the word that fits him the best is the word fighter. When he was born, they had told him, they said, don't you know your baby was having seizures and heart attacks and stuff while you was pregnant with him, huh? I didn't know it could be possible either. The seizures and heart attacks detected by CT scans while still in his mother's womb have remained a problem all the way into Kenneth's teenage years. Doctors have yet to find a cure, but for Kenneth, the game of basketball has been the best form of medicine for his incurable illness. From the moment he realized he can pick up a basketball and bounce it, that's just it. Basketball, basketball, basketball. That's what I love. It's just something that motivates me. Basketball is just my key to keep going. It's my will to live. Though Kenneth had a love for the game of basketball, his health would get in the way of him starting his high school hoop career because of a nearly fatal seizure in April of 2017. I cried. I cried because he was laying on the floor asleep. I woke him up to go to school. He wouldn't wake up. And all of a sudden, he just jumped up and crowed, and his eyes got big. And he took his heart failure. He had a seizure, and he was transferred from one heart failure down to another. The seizure in April of 2017 left Kenneth partially paralyzed and not far away from becoming a vegetable. Thankfully, he didn't submit to his temporary state and he credited that to his desire to play high school basketball, even though it was a life-threatening gamble that doctors refused to let him roll the dice on. We went to the doctor's office and they were telling me about how I could have a seizure on the court, how I could have a heart attack on the court, or I could possibly die. I was like, well, you know, I can have all, all that can happen, but I know that God got me, so just let me play. And just like that, the medicine that's always been able to soothe Kenneth was given to him as doctors finally cleared him to play organized basketball. Did she say to you, like, why she decided to, or like, clear you to play? Yeah, she said she let me play because of my dream. With clearance from the doctors to hoop, Kenneth's first opportunity at organized ball came through the AAU circuit, playing for the Houston Fast Breakers. Kenneth Harris. Good job, Kenneth. This young man, I'm so proud of him. Great athlete, did an outstanding job. I don't give a individual awards because I think they're all our MVPs. But this young man is probably the most improved player. And that's not a negative. That's not saying that he didn't know how to play when he came, but he just had to figure out organized basketball. And once he figured out organized basketball, again, I could use this young man anywhere on the floor that I wanted to. He did an outstanding job rebounding, defending, shooting, uh, handling the ball. He is another one. Their toughest play, their best player, he always wanted to guard him. So huge heart, and I just appreciate all the hard work that this young man put in because it is it is definitely showing. He's doing an outstanding job and looking for great things out of Ken. How proud are you of your brother? Extremely. Extremely. It went from a, a little bitty baby with heart machines and oxygen tanks and tubes hanging from his stomach. Heart attacks, seizures, surgeries, whatever he keep fighting. He's a fighter. That's my baby. And he's blessed. That's my angel. And I love him. Kenneth Ray Harris, Jr. How have you made it this far, man, to where you are now? How have you made it this far in life? 
I mean, it's only no answer, but all right, that's all I can tell you. I don't even know. He would ask me all the time, I can't give you a complete answer. Good God.